Hi, I'm Adriana Baranek. You're watching the Users YouTube channel. I'm CEO of Media Group, and here with me is Martin Baranek, our CTO. Hi. So uh, today's topic is a question that we get very often from our uh, prospective customers and from current customers. Uh, and the question is what to do about legacy applications. Because if we talk about uh, the new applications, if we talk about the new development, this is really a no-brainer. You can always use the public cloud and it, it will really provide you with all the benefits of the public cloud. Of course, it is still important to work with somebody that understands the public cloud and that will not just uh, sell you the virtual machines and uh, the old way of thinking in the new environment. But uh, this is uh, really uh, something that is not so complex. Mm -hmm. uh, when you have a legacy application, what would be your as succinct answer as possible? In order to uh, benefit from public cloud, if you have a legacy application, a monolith, then it is possible to forklift that application to public cloud with uh, virtual machines mm -hmm. and in some cases you can use containers so th there will be no uh, real changes to that legacy application but uh, um, data uh, from that application will suddenly be available for consumption with uh, uh, other public cloud mm -hmm. services and uh, you'll be able to gradually evolve mm -hmm. from uh, that monolith to using microservices and using other uh, uh, software as a service or uh, platform as mm -hmm. a service solutions to complement your legacy application or applications. Uh, and with time, uh, of course, oh, it is possible to rewrite part of that application or whole application with the new, new mm -hmm. architecture. So it does make sense to migrate legacy applications to public cloud, even if you are not able to directly benefit mm -hmm. from new uh, new architectures and uh, models, since it will be much easier to connect uh, data from your legacy application as a data source for, mm -hmm. for other services that are available in public cloud. And uh, our experience is that uh, uh, editors and uh, like uh, Google Sheets or uh, Excel mm -hmm. are primary tools for for your users to manipulate mm -hmm. data. So if you provide mechanisms that uh, ease uh, uh, import and export uh, and analysis of data from your legacy applications, by using that migration to public cloud, that will for sure benefit yeah. a lot of your your employees that are consuming mm -hmm. the data from that application. Yeah, and if we can give you just one sentence to remember from this video is contact us or contact somebody that knows something about the public cloud and uh, develop uh, an extensive plan on how to uh, move your legacy applications and how to uh, help your uh, system become better. Uh, we never um, tell people that they should migrate everything um, now tomorrow uh, it is a process definitely and uh, the more legacy applications you have uh, the more difficult it will definitely be for you to make that change uh, but, um, uh, yeah, but but in reality most of enterprises have uh, uh, people using mobile mm -hmm. phones and uh, web browsers yeah. and mo most of them are uh, uh, par uh, partially or uh, entirely using uh, Office 365 or yeah. Google Workspace. So uh, uh, keeping on-prem uh, legacy applications with VPNs is uh, mm -hmm. uh, be becoming a strain yeah. on productivity and now it's really a good time to move Mm -hmm. legacy applications to to public cloud yeah yeah and networking is definitely a huge topic. one of yeah. uh, of uh, one of hurdles yeah. and uh, yeah yeah 
Definitely. So uh, please contact us. We have uh, office hours on Friday where we can provide you with half an hour of our time uh, free of charge uh, and uh, help you make up your mind and uh, um, uh, find out how deep the rabbit hole that you're getting yourself into with the late applications uh, is. Uh, we, we will be very happy to speak with you. Uh, thank you so much, Mladen, and uh, please uh, like our video, subscribe to our channel, and uh, follow uh, follow us uh, on usevoice.com and on YouTube. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.